Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. It's Hey It's Day and my name is Aday and today we're going to be doing this pink cut crease using all new products that I purchased. So it's going to be a first time try on haul of these products and if you like this video, please do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe and come back for more because I post videos every single week. We're going to first start off by using the Maybelline Fit Me Foundation and we're going to be using the Real Techniques Blending Brush. This is a rainbow collection and I picked it up from Walmart because it was pretty. Do not forget to blend and take your time patting in that foundation. Get close to your wig line, get under your eyes, make sure the blend is seamless. This foundation does look a little light, but it does oxidize, so it's going to match me by the time I'm done. We're then going to go into the Ruby Kisses 3D Contour Artist Contour Palette. It has different shades for contouring, highlighting, and color correcting. We're going to use this palette to do all of our highlighting and contouring. Again, I'm using another Real Techniques rainbow brush to blend out my highlight. Take your time and pat it in. You don't want it to look crazy, so just take your time and keep patting. Just keep patting until it's seamless and to the blend that you like. And then you're going to go in with contouring. Do a little dance, of course. We're going to be using a new powder and also the Sephora powder to set the highlighted areas on our face before we start contouring, just to make sure that it stays in place and doesn't budge. And this is not like a full on bake, this is just setting the makeup in place. I don't want anything full coverage. And then we're going to start contouring and bringing back a little structure to our face and our nose. Using the Black Radiance powder to set the contour and of course still using rainbow color brushes from Real Technique. We're going to set all that in place so it doesn't move. We're going to use a Black Radiance powder in flush red and then we're going to step into our palette which is the Moria Dreamscape Dream Series palette for this whole look. I chose this palette because of the colors and I decided to do something a little more colorful today. And then we're going to use a P. Louise base and we're going to use the crayon case brushes to achieve some of the shadows in this look. 
We're first going to take the P. Louise and set our eye base by patting that out. You're gonna make sure that you just wanna pat it and make sure that it's seamlessly on the eye. You're going to use the darkest pink in the Moria Dreamscape palette to start off with our blending. You're going to take that shade and just keep blending until you're satisfied with how it's coming out. I'm gonna do that and I'm gonna just pick a neutral shape, nothing extravagant, but just making sure I'm filling up my whole eye space with that pink. We're then going to take the lighter pink and use it around the edges just to diffuse the edges and make sure that it looks seamless. Then using the P. Louise blank canvas and their acid rain brushes to do the cut crease. Using the yellow brush to stamp out where I want the cut crease to go and then using the stamps as a guide of how I want the line of the cut crease to be. I'm then going to pat out the blank canvas. You want to take your time when you're doing your cut crease because you want it to be as precise as possible. That is why I first go in with the stamping before I start using it as a guideline for where and how I want the cut crease to be on my eye. You're going to also take your time to make sure that you blend out that shadow in the cut crease so it's not too bulky. The reason I'm always late going out is because I'm always dancing while doing my makeup. <laughs> You're then going to go in with any pink shimmery eyeshadow to cover that cut crease. Take your time and apply that. Once again, going in with a crayon case angled brush to apply the shimmer. Using the Glow Up Academy from Kiki Adams line, we're going to be using the pink glitter. We're going to go in with glitter glue on the eye to make sure that the glitter stays placed where we want it. Using the orange angled brush from the P. Louise brush set, we're going to use that to attach the glitter into the glitter glue on our eye. We're then going to use a spoolie to pick up any glitter that fell underneath our eye since our base is fully done. We're of course going to do a little dance when we have the eyelashes ready to put on because that means I'm almost done and that always makes me happy. Like no lie, I love doing makeup but I'd be super excited when I'm almost done. We're then going to take our pink eyeshadow, the first one that we took to begin with to blend under the eye just to add a little more pop to the sh to the eye look and we're going to take our time and blend it and be all bright the la girl pro eyeliner in black to line our waterline and then we're going to take a mix any type of brown lip liner and of course finish off with Fenty because honestly I'm just so regular with my lips and this eye look is already like slapping you in your face like you can't look away because you have to stare at it anyway so we're just going to keep the lips neutral today and that is the final look. This is the final look, and if you enjoy, please do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe.